Okay, guys, welcome back to Draw Along with Miss Nowlin. Today we are going to be drawing Greg from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So to start off, we're going to draw his eyes. There's kind of a good amount of space between them, everybody. The next step is his nose. You're going to start about halfway between his eyes. And his nose goes just a little ways past his eye. The next step, you're gonna start a little bit above the eye and you're gonna make kind of a almost circle. So follow it around and meet up right underneath his nose. Awesome. The next step you need to decide is if you are going to make Greg happy or sad. I'm gonna make him frustrated. So I'm gonna give him a frown. Womp womp. We're gonna put some hair on him and he needs an ear. Okay, the next step is his body. So you're gonna make a long line starting about where his chin should be, straight down, but it's gonna have a curve. Okay, and you're gonna make another one and see how it started kind of small up near his chin and got bigger down lower. That's what you want. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna work on his sleeve. So make a box, kind of a rectangle, go up, but not too far up because you are going to need to do his backpack straps. Okay. Make a big, big backpack and skinny little arms. His arms will also follow a curve You're gonna make his hand is one big thumb, one hand, finger two, three, four, circle back. And if you double up, that's okay, no worries, erase it. That's why we always use pencil first. Finish off his shirt should match up right where his thumb is, looking good. The next step are his shorts. One line down, another line down and meet them up. And um, the illustrator doesn't really make a division on the shorts, just one big box. Next step is legs. They kind of curve out. And this leg is going to be shorter. This leg will be longer. Okay, line them up. For shoes, you're going to make the letter C and then up and around. The letter C and up and around. There you go, there's Greg. Go back with your black marker. You're gonna outline the entire thing plus color in his backpack and his shorts. Take your time, nice smooth motions. And if you don't trace exactly, that's okay. Just go back and erase those pencil lines that you didn't need anymore. I'm just going to do a quick job, but I want you to take your time and do your own best. Okay. With these um, really nice Crayola markers, you can kind of tip them to the side and they color more all at once because it's the broader side of the marker. Okay. Don't forget his socks. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot them. And now you can be a comic book writer and put our friend Greg in different situations. I think it's two G's, maybe. Greg. All right. And we're going to do one more bonus drawing of one of my personal favorite characters, Manny. Oh, Manny. He's trouble, isn't he? So the first step with Manny, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just with marker because it's a very quick drawing. Put his eyes. And then Manny has a great big nose. Oh my goodness, look at that. Right underneath his nose is kind of his upper lip. 
and Manny has great big teeth. The next step is you're gonna make his head down and around. Don't forget his ear with the little line. And he has hair just like his brother. Make this line a little longer. Now we're gonna make his very small neck. Hey, look at that, here he is. We're gonna make a little ring around his neck where the top of his t-shirt is. Make a line that goes out just a little. That's gonna be his sleeve of his shirt. Straight line down. Some fingers on his hands. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. That's why we use pencil. The front of his shirt kind of has a curve and down. Let's make him some shorts, just like, and see that's where we can cover this up. Just like Greg's shorts. Color them in. No white spots showing, hopefully. Okay, and Manny has two skinny little legs. He's got socks on also. And remember a letter C, follow through, letter C, follow through. There's our friend Manny. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by and we'll talk at you next week. Bye.